Dr Chris Parker, Clinical Director of an NHS Community Pain Service in Ainsdale, Brook Merseyside is here and so is Dr Camilla Hawthorne, Chair of the Royal College of GPs and a GP in South Wales. Warm welcome to you both. Chris, good morning. In a community pain service, what, what routes, what advice can you give people? I think, um, firstly, I think what, what Kirsty said before resonates really deeply, I think, with, with um, certainly with me and, and probably my colleagues, but most importantly, the people that we uh, we see in our pain service. I think um, there are, th- there's a number of things that people can um, can do. I think what, what we're really starting to understand with pain is that there are many, many things that matter when it comes down to pain. I think the likes of medication, it can have a role, but we know that um, we know that things that they can do themselves have a really important role and, and being in charge of that, understanding pain in a really good way, understanding the things that help your pain individually can help um, can help significantly. I think also the the, um, the types of things that we are recommending from evidence now is starting to catch up with what people have said for a long time, particularly um, things like movement-based strategies, mindful strategies, um, uh, understanding nutrition well, understanding um, the kind of things that flare our pain and the, that uh, kind of soothe our pain. Those are the kind of things that are very, very individual. And um, so people will, um, people, I think in, in a pain service, we start to encourage people to try and uh, to try and look at those things individually as well as perhaps some of the medicalized things that may help. And and in terms of getting access, and I, I believe there isn't at the moment perhaps the longest wait for, for your clinic, but people have reported that they can't get to these pain clinics. They can't get in. Yeah, I think it's very individual. And I think um, we're starting to get better at, um, at community-based pain services. And there's, there's, you know, there's a level of expertise that we have in the community for this. Um, and so I think it is very individual. Commissioning around pain services is changing a little bit. Um, you know, we're understanding some of the, um, some of the evidence that we have, have accrued over time, particularly through NICE. And, and um, I'm, the, ju- I'm just, sorry. I was just going to say, no, I'm sorry to cut across you, but just because of time, you know, we've got a lot of messages coming in about how people are living. Uh, one woman's written in saying, isolated, tearful, ashamed, years of being told to take paracetamol and see a physio. Thank you, Kirsty, for saying that. Is there anything you could say now to somebody listening, Chris, who's in pain, it's chronic, um, to, to just help them perhaps feel like there is a way forward? Yeah, definitely. I think, uh, first of all, understand pain and there's lots of resources to do that. I think um, find people around you who will help. Um, Having a team around you is really important and primary care play a role in this. Um, Also, peer-led support can play a role in this. And there's lots of good resources about, um, you know, how to to look at pain. And again, I can share some resources offline from that. Um, But there's lots of good resources around. I think um, the NHS definitely plays a role in this um, and it's accessing services that will support people in a multi-professional way.